The overall goal of this procedure is to identify the dispersant molecules adsorbed on dispersed particles within colloidal dispersions. This is accomplished by first centrifuging the colloidal solution to separate the particles from dispersant. Next, the isolated particles are washed with solvents, recovered with centrifugation, and oven dried. The dried sediment is then mixed within a potassium bromide matrix and ground into a fine powder. Finally, the mixture is loaded into a sample holder and measured using diffuse reflectance infrared Fourier transform spectroscopy. Ultimately, diffuse reflectance infrared Fourier transform spectroscopy is used to identify chemisorbed and physisorbed dispersant molecules. The main advantage of this technique over other methods like attenuated total reflectance infrared is that in this technique, interferences from the solvent are minimized. Thus, this technique can help answer key questions in the field of colloid and surface science, including how are functional particles stabilized in colloidal dispersion? In this video, I'll demonstrate the procedure associated with infrared spectroscopy, sample preparation, and measurement. To isolate surface functionalized particles from a colloidal dispersion, begin by pipetting enough ink into a fresh conical tube such that the total mass of the particles is at least 2 grams. Place the tube into a swinging bucket benchtop centrifuge and spin down the functionalized particles for 30 to 90 minutes at room temperature. For proper particle sedimentation, the spin speed should be optimized such that a clear, transparent supernatant is achieved within 90 minutes.